Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon Gen 1 Solo Runs. How's everybody doing? Wherever you are in the world, hope you're, hope you're well, hope you stay safe, hope you're having a good time. This run, I have done this run once before, but I can't explain what happened. For some reason, my video footage just disappeared, almost as if we're in a simulation, and the simulation forgot to add my final video of Golbat. So... Let's grab El Golbat and let's turn off that. Sweet. Okay, so I already know what's going to happen in this run. However, um, just a haunting memory of all of the difficulty that I went through because Golbat wasn't the easiest Pokemon to do. Stat-wise, he's not too bad. There's nothing wrong with his stats. It's just his learn set that's a problem. He doesn't really learn anything useful. He doesn't... His final learn set last time was Wing Attack, Mega Drain, Leech Life, and... I think I kept Bite. Like, that's literally all I had on Golbat. Actually, um, I might have had Mimic as, as well. Actually, I, I did have Mimic because I mimicked... Um, uh, Nightshade from Agatha's Gengar because I pretty much had to. Lorelei was horrible. Um, I didn't finish the last run. Um, Golbat ended up being like level 80 or so, so maybe I can do it a little bit better this run, but unfortunately that is the sad truth. I have done this run once before and I'm at a loss for words to explain what happened to the video. It, so I have to do this run again now to sort of exercise that paranoia that it's going to happen again. I'm looking at both of my my voice recorder and my game recorder. I see they're both rolling, so it couldn't happen again, could it? The thing is, my voice, like all my voice stuff recorded fine. I did nothing different to how I normally do. It's just the video just wasn't there in the captures folder where all of them go when they're finished recording, so the only thing I can think of is that my laptop didn't have a lot of storage space. Maybe the laptop got had a hissy fit because there wasn't much space, but it's never happened before and I've recorded these with I think less space, but it's a 500 gigabyte laptop and right now when I have everything on it clean and have everything that I want, like still on it, I only have about 30 gigabyte of space and that's on a 500 gigabyte laptop. I'm just adjusting my oh, my jumper. It's a bit warm in this room. So, so yeah, this run, I'm going to have to find something more interesting to talk about during this run because this run is not going to be enjoyable for me at all. So what have we done? We've beaten all the trainers in Viridian Forest. Golbat, in theory, should be able to win this battle, but this all comes down to whether or not Pidgey decides to use Sand Attack, which it does. And of course now we're just going to miss until, oh there we go, uh, let's try Leech Life, see if we... You know what, I'm, I'm not losing to this Squirtle, although I may not have a choice. Golbat doesn't need the potions, in fact I could, I could just about use my entire stock of potions and still lose that battle all because of Sand Attack. I don't need the potions for the battle against Brock. Leech Life does actually give you back a little bit of HP every time you use it. Geodude was actually harder than Onyx. Um, when Onyx uses Bide, I can use Screech. In fact, the best strategy is to use Screech and just get rid of, um, get rid of Geodude as quickly as possible. Because you want Geodude to give you as little damage as basically as possible. Supersonic, don't even worry about it. It doesn't work every time. I don't remember what level I was. I think I got to like level 14 or something last time when I beat Brock. Yeah, this trainer used Sand Attack on me last time as well. So Golbat's... Golbat's stats aren't really any different to how it was last time either. Overall, it's very balanced. Like, surprisingly balanced. 
Two screech. Three. Oh, but it failed. Alright, let's go for bite. Oh, it got a critical hit. Critical hit will um, will overrule your um, the defensive drops. Alright, we do our speed onyx as well. It's good to go for bite as well because you can get a flinch, but we also need some health back. Bite's fine, and you screech. It is a little bit of a cheap strategy, but hey, for this run, I've already done this once before, so this is... I don't mind. So as you see, it's actually quite easy for Golbat to win because of that Screech and Leech Life strategy. Um, what did Golbat struggle with? He struggled a little bit with Misty. Mainly just because Stummy is a bit bulky and it knocked him out first. But if you can get in Leech Life, you can do a bit of damage to Stummy because of Psychic's weakness to it. The thing is, um, oh, that's why right. I remember getting to... Oh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't spoil the game. Maybe I should just let it play out and talk about the other gens of Pokemon for a little while. I've been thinking about doing um, some Gen 3 runs. I haven't done any yet, and I want to. I don't have a code to modify the starter, but in Gen 3, you pick your starter, you fight off the Puccina, and then that's pretty much it. I don't remember there being a battle with May at the start. There might have been. It's been a while since I played Emerald or Ruby or Sapphire. Usually I play Emerald. And since I can't modify the starter, I guess it doesn't really matter what generation I, I play on that. Um, I can't modify the starter on yellow. And I, I can't get it to work on crystal. I would do the solo runs on crystal, but... Um, but yeah, I can only... And I can only get the middle Pokeball to work on Gen 2. If I was going to do... Um, solo runs on Gen 3, I would I would like to do Mewtwo first, just because Mewtwo sets the standard for being the GOAT. Thing is though, um, on Gen 3, I don't know if I remember the game enough to be able to do a consistently good solo run. I'd have to, well I wasn't really that good when I first started doing solo runs on this one. But to be fair, I do I do know Pokemon Red and Blue very, very well. I've played them quite possibly. This is the game that I have played and passed the most in my entire gaming history. That, If that was the fact, that would not surprise me because... Well, actually, it would almost have to be. I don't think I've ever passed a game nearly 80-odd times, not including all the other times before that I played and passed this. This, this is like the OG game for me. This is like, this is the one. Cool. Let's get rid of Shelter. Let's use Bite. And we can get rid of Goldeen as well. Ah, oh, Confusion. Cheap. All my potions are gone. Um, we can battle the rival here as well. Will we beat the rival? Um... It is dependent solely on one move, and that move is indeed Sand Attack. Gust, that's fine. The critic could have done without the critical hit, but okay. Sand Attack fails, then a quick attack, so we should outspeed now. Now against Abra, Leech Life, you get all that HP back. Bite and bite, and this should be a win. So look, to be fair, Golbat's at the start of the game, because he has Bite and Leech Life, he's actually really good. Even um, even through mid game, he's not too bad. Um, in Gen Two, I was gonna do Suicune or Suicune, however people like to say his name. Subjective, but um, I was hoping to do Crobat soon as well. I used to use Crobat quite a lot in Gen Two. Crobat's actually really good, fast, powerful, heavy hitter, everything you want in a Pokemon.
if I was going to do runs on Gen 3, I might start with, um, I might start doing the starters. Although, I haven't done that in Gen 2, I've done all the legendaries mostly. But there's, there's options. Although, I know if you use a cheat code to get in Deoxys, and I think Mew as well, somehow the game knows, and they won't listen to you, so I'll have to use a warp code and probably catch. Oh, the in-game ones won't work, because they won't be at level 5. Huh. I'll have to figure out a way... a way past that, I think. Anyway, let's head up to Bill's place. So, I never played original Gen 4. I played the remake, which I didn't mind. I actually quite like the remake, but I don't have the comparison of the original to put next to it, so... So, yeah, that's probably why I like the remakes better than a lot of people did. A lot of people weren't happy with Diamond and Pearl's remakes, a brilliant diamond, shining pearl. Apparently, they weren't very true. A lot of people weren't happy with the like the game's artwork as well. It was kind of babyish, is what some people described it as. There's a lot of Pokemon games I need to get through. Original Gen 4, Gen 5, 6, 7 and 8. I haven't ever played or finished. I've played a couple of them but only very briefly. I own quite a few of them, I've just never played them. I have a few of them on 3DS as well but I can't record 3DS footage and that makes me sad. Maybe um, I'd be surprised if there wasn't a, a computer program for a 3DS. Like an emulator. Alright, Starmie, how much do we do with Leech Life? A bit, and we get back some HP. Should probably be going for Bite, though. Whoa, oh. If I went for Bubble Beam a couple more times, that would have been a loss. Probably should have just started with Bite, to be honest. It is just a normal type move in this game as well. Remember, there was no Dark or Steel type in this gen. They came in in Gen 2. What gen did Fairy come in? I'm not 100% sure. I, I will guess Gen 6. But I, I'm probably wrong. Alrighty. Sweet. Out of all the gens that I've played, I like Gen 3's, like, world the best. I reckon the cities in Gen 3 are by far the most creative. I probably should have healed Golbat, to be honest, but that's okay. We do have a Kadabra here that we can use Leech Life on and get back our HP. Sweet. Now, we do have Surge to get through, and... He can do some damage to us, because we are part flying. Let's see if we can get the trash puzzle on our first attempt. I give it a 90% failure rate. No way, it's an in. It's never the one on the middle left. I don't know if I've ever seen it be. Look at that. All right, bite. We want. We don't want um, Sonic Boom. Ah, oh, we didn't want Sonic Boom. We don't even outspeed right you either. Boo. If I didn't get um, Sonic Boom used on me, possibly a different story. Surge does often go for an X speed as well.
Bite. X speed, that will probably outspeed me now. All tackle, that's okay. Get rid of Pikachu. Alright, we're nearly at full health. Ah, it used a Thunderbolt that time. Ah, uh, bit lame. Let's speed up a trainer. Could could have done without the paralysis. Beat up a trainer to get some revenge. So there's 151 Pokemon in Gem 1. 152 if you count Missing No. Um, technically you can get Missing No in every game. It just comes up as a question mark in the others. Oh, there's an X speed. But under... Oh, Golbat! Yeah, you tank! I only did it with 8 HP, but 8 HP is enough. So, yeah, 151 plus missing no in Gen 1. Missing no in Gen 2 just comes up as a question mark, but it's not as iconic as a big pixelated mess. Um, so, Gen 2, 251 and 151. So, if you add them together, that's 352. No, 402. And then, then if you add on the 386 to that 482, so 386, um, hold on, I'm just getting through this trainer. Um, what was I saying? So 386 plus 482 is 788, if my math is correct that's how many solo runs that's how many separate videos there would be if I um, if I did all, like all the Pokemon in every one of these games 788 solo runs you'd have to be pretty crazy to attempt that and I think I will then there's the uh, the question of doing them on all the other games too Diamond and Pearl uh, black and white, X and Y, etc, etc. You have to be careful with the Slowpoke here as well. They have confusion and Golbat's weak to it. So the original Diamond and Pearl, I'm not sure if every Pokemon was in that game. Or not, like if all the Kanto Pokemon, all the Johto Pokemon were in it or not. I wouldn't have a clue. But if they were... How many Pokemon would be in that game? There'd be the 386 from previous gens, and how many new ones came in Gen 4? Maybe like a, another 100 or so? Would that put on... So say if... So if we round it up, would there be about 480-odd Pokemon altogether, including Gen 1, 2, 3, and 4? If you add that 480 onto that already 788, that's now we're closing in on that like 1200 mark of solo run videos. It sounds it sounds absolutely crazy, doesn't it? I 100%. If I can do solo runs on every game with every Pokemon, which in theory would be possible, I would do it. I would 100% attempt it just for the just for the memes alone. Obviously, this hiker is a pain in the ass. Uh, it's only a matter of time before he uses it. Actually, nah, I, w I won't be cheap and use the super potion halfway during the battle. Do we get a flinch? No. I mean, if I don't get self-destruct by the first two Geodude, then we don't actually need that much to survive the self-destruct from the Graveler. So as long as, if we can use Bite and we can get through the first Geodude without taking too much damage, we should be able to survive self-destruct from the next two.
So let's hope for a flinch. We do get one. Oh, another flinch. Rock throwing misses, that would be super effective on us as well. Oh, oh that's not fair. It's going to use self-destruct now, isn't it? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, we're full health. Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect win. Yeah, now, if I use Leech Life from here and pull back a little bit of HP. Oh, that's rigged. Oh, that's rigged. That is absolutely 100% rigged. Hitting with rock throw twice in a row. I could throw rock throws five times in a row and miss every time. Lame. Rigged. I mean, to be fair, it's been quite a um, quite a mission just getting this many solo runs done on Gem 1. Like, literally, it feels like I've been playing this game for, like, years. When in reality, it's only been a couple of months. How did I lose that much health against the first Geodude? Bruh! Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna get to, like, level 30. There we go, there's level 30. What do we need to level up? Uh, 31, is that necessary? If I get Volt Orbs, it's, that'd be nice. I'll put Bite at the top. Uh, just an extra couple of levels might just get us... That little bit of extra HP will come in handy and we should be able to get through that Hiker. Such an imposing, such an imposing NPC depending on what Pokemon you start with. Oh boy. I mean, is it even possible to do that many solo runs? Like. Imagine doing solo runs with every Pokemon on Scarlet and Violet. Oh boy. I don't I don't even know if that'd be possible. Like you wouldn't be able to win every battle with just one Pokemon on that game. Surely not. The idea of it still sounds fun to attempt, but Did that get a critical hit with self-destruct? It looks like it did. You know what, let's go for supersonic. Uh, this is... In my last run, I got through this hiker quicker. And I, wa I think I was only level 30. I was lucky though, I got through the two Geodude using bite and they didn't use self-destruct. And I survived with like 4 HP or something. When Graveler used it. Actually, I think the first two might have used self destruct, the two Geodudes, and then I think I beat Graveler without it using self destruct. Actually, I think that's how it might have gone. Oh, yeah, like it's actually going to hit Rock Throw and miss Tackle. There's a crit. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, this, this is just stupid. Like, this is literally just stupidity. Can I not just ask for that slight bit of luck? You know, a flinch, a, a critical hit just to get through one of the Geodudes because I probably survive self-destruct from Graveler and a Geodude. I don't survive all three of them and if I don't get hit by a rock thrower... Well now, now that I'm not even full health...
can we get a flinch? Can we get any flinch at all? Well, we managed to knock out one of them. Two critical hits and a flinch. All right, wing attack, that is useful for Erica. Um, let's get rid of supersonic because it just doesn't seem to be working. Now the best strategy here is to go for leech life and get some HP back. And there we go, at long last, we are finally through that hiker. All right, Meowth, Bite, Oddish, Leech Life, Pidgey, Bite. Wing Attack's really weak on this as well. It's only base 35 in Gen 1. I think it was powered up a bit in later generations, but yeah, it's not a good move. It's not very useful. All right, Pidgeotto, Bite, Flinch, nice. Growlithe, Execute, can use Leech Life on that. Kadabra, War Total, very nice. He says he's got a lot to accomplish. Me too, bro, me too. If I did, say in theory, I got through all the solo runs on Gen 1, I got through all the solo runs on Gen 2 and Gen 3, and I had 788, maybe 789 if I did a missing no in Gen 1 as well. Just on those gens alone, would I be able to call myself the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time? There must be a... Oh, I need Farfetch'd. There must be a code to be able to get um, your starter modified on Ruby, Sapphire or Emerald. It must be. I mean, if the first two gens can do it, I'm sure the other one's good. There is also the question with um, doing solo runs on Heart Gold and Soul Silver, along with like Fire Red and Leaf Green as well. That's another debatable question as well, if I ever did solo runs on them. They are also two other games that I also haven't played. Uh, actually, I like I play. I've played Leaf Green up to Mount Moon, and there's actually some post-game on them as well, so I've seen. But all in due time, I will get to them. And Gem One is always going to be where my heart lies, of course. Playing this game as a kid. Okay, Lift Key. Level 34. Giovanni is actually a little bit difficult in this as well because of those rock types. They can weaken you and then when you reach that Kangaskhan, it'll... Kangaskhan will knock you out. I'm getting knocked out by Kangaskhan's... Kangaskhan's solo run was actually pretty good, to be honest. Uh, B4... And I do believe that doing Golbat now, I do believe Golbat is the last fully evolved Pokemon that I needed to do. Um, I'm going to have to heal. I wonder if I can beat him with what I... Oh. Leech Life will heal me a bit. Yeah, I, I need to heal. Unless, of course, I can heal using this trainer. No, not against a much up. I need my bite PP back as well. Um ah oh, wait, wrong way. Wait, I don't I can use I can just come down here and use the elevator. Would I ever play this game again 
if I did all 151 solo runs? That's a good question. I've done a game on this. I did it on yellow. It went for rage. I can't believe I'm actually going to get knocked out by that Kangaskhan. Maybe I should have gone for bite straight away against Kangaskhan instead of Leech Life. Um, the answer to ever playing this again after I have done all the solo runs, what more can I do? From that point of view, like I've played a game on Yellow on this where I grew all the Pokemon to level 100. I've got a video of it too, growing all my Pokemon to level 100. Yellow, I found every item finder item, I battled every trainer. I did literally everything. What is going on? What do you mean? Sc Screech missed like four times in a row. That's not even possible. No, th there's something weird going on. It's like... It's like Giovanni's immune to Screech. So, you know, what, what more can I do on this game? Like, on this generation of, of Pokemon? If I did every Pokemon as a solo run, in my personal game, I have grown everything to level 100. I've found every item finder item. I've battled every trainer. I've done literally everything on the game. Like, what more... What more can I do? Uh, we should be able to beat Erica fairly easy. I say should, because um, remember Erica does have... Um, Erica does have the ability to put me to sleep. Although, I don't think Erica actually goes for her Grass-type attacks because of the way Gem 1's AI is programmed. Wing attack, even though it's not a very strong move, it is useful against Erica. Yeah, Erica's gonna be easy. Okay, Golbat can learn Mega Drain. Get rid of Screech, seeing as it seems to have stopped working. And I still need the water bottle. What have I done? I've done Fly, I've done Giovanni, I've done Erica. Yeah, I just need the water bottle. Pokemon Tower. I will have to use. Um, I can use Leech Life, but I can also use Wing Attack. Leech Life is such a weak move, though, and the Ghost Pokemon just have too much Hypnosis, Confuse Ray. They just have too many moves like that that are just going to cause a problem. That's what happened in the last run against Agatha. I kept going for Leech Life, and it just isn't strong enough. Gengars and Haunters would just use Confuse Ray and they'd just end up winning. Uh, we can use Mega Drain on that. I did, um... I did some plays on Pokemon Stadium too lately as well. Pokemon Stadium is like... I have it on Nintendo 64, but I don't have any of the peripherals to get cartridges into it, sadly. But, um... So, like, the thing is... I'm playing it on the Switch, like on the Switch's inbuilt um, subscription emulator. And, my word... Um... What was I doing? I only have access to the, um, to like the rental Pokemon. 
that are in Pokemon Stadium. It's like you can play it with your own Pokemon, but you need to use your cartridge along with the peripheral to actually make that happen. Otherwise, you, you have the option of these rental Pokemon, and like the more higher up in the evolution chain you go, the more stupid moves they have. Like Charizard will have Ember, Charmeleon will have Flamethrower, Charmander will have Fire Blast. It's that kind of deal. Like the weaker the Pokemon, the better the moves it knows. And, oh my word, Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2, beating that with rental Pokemon, my word, what a headache. Like, damn near impossible. Damn near impossible, but I, I beat Pokemon Stadium 1. I'm still, I think I'm up to, I think I might, might be up to price. Gym number seven, mahogany. Oh, that's bloody hypno. Yeah, so I am actually quite far into it. Alright, against coughing, let's go for leech life. Oh, wow, that did nothing. Bite. Coughing does have very good physical defense. Mind you, Mux used minimize about nine times, so I'm wondering if it's even worth trying to beat Koga at this level. I might be actually better off going to Saffron City first. A flinch would be nice. X attack, that's not too bad. You've got to be kidding. It's using X attack, not... Oh, bro, what is going on? I didn't have smoke screen. I must have had smoke screen used on me. I must have missed it. I don't recall that coughing using a smoke screen on me, but it must have because I'm missing all the... Like, that's not one in 256, obviously. Yeah, there we go. I can see it now. Look at that, I've got no accuracy, I've just used, I've used all my bite PP. Now if Weezing uses self-destruct, I might actually survive. I, I'm at a loss for words. Bro, I, I am at an absolute loss for words. Weezing's critical hit percentage is so low because it's that slow it just shouldn't even it just shouldn't happen all right we've only had one smoke screen used on us not six all right we've had one all right now we've had two but that's what i mean one of them just one accuracy drop and you're literally missing 50 percent of the time Alright, we survived that one, and long last we are finally through Koga. He's a joke of a trainer, but that just shouldn't have any difficulty. Oh, Safari Zone. Man, the Safari Zone in Gen 1 is so basic. The Safari Zone, there wasn't one in Gen 2. Well, actually, there is, but uh, you have to kind of trick the game's coding to access it. It was planned, but it must have been removed due to like space on the game cartridge. Because silver, gold and crystal for cartridge games for Game Boy Color in those days, they would have really been pushing it to fit all that, to fit the storage on there, even though they're not very big games. By today's standards back then, that was pretty impressive that they managed to pull that off. To have like the whole city of Johto and then have original Kanto as like a um as as a post game, that was pretty impressive for those days. Alright, next up, Sabrina and the rival. Oops. I might go battle karate master now as well.
you think the guard would have brought water with him? Oops. Would have brought the water with him on the job? Like... You know what, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan are both that much of a joke. That was accident as well. You know, I'm still, even so, I'm still not even going to bother to heal. Oh, alright. You just had to, didn't you? You just had to just to make me look like an idiot. You had to make me lose to Karate Master. Alright. No mercy this time. Wing attack. No, I don't want haze. Wing attack, wing attack. See, you're not so tough now. Alright, level 43. And a rival battle upcoming. The rival battle shouldn't actually be that difficult. In terms of a learn set, this is as good as the Golbat's going to get. Literally that. I'm surprised that I didn't get knocked out there. I'm surprised Hypno didn't go for confusion while I was asleep and just obliterated me. So yeah, pre-evolved Pokemon are really the only option for me now. I do still have a couple of like Pokemon that don't evolve in Gen 1. Like I've still got I've still got Onyx to go, I've still got Tangela. I do still have Tauros to go, but I'm saving Tauros for the very last. Tauros is my homie. I want him to be the one to close out. Growlithe, I wish I did not lose that much health to Pidgeotto. That's way too much. We outspeed Alakazam. Surely not. Surely we don't outspeed Alakazam. Oh, maybe. Oh, I don't like Golbat. There's a reason why I never used him in Gem 1, because he's just not that good. Look, look, level 45. Stat-wise, his stats are well balanced, but they're not. Nothing on him stands out either. So he's just kind of a. If you were doing a complete randomizer team and you got Golbat, you'd be like, uh, you'd be content. You wouldn't be happy, but you wouldn't be disappointed. So. All right, that's a good Pidgeotto battle. Pidgeot. That's a good Pidgeot battle. Leech Life, nice. Alakazam, we outspeed. We're full health. Psybeam does a lot, but we've we've got enough back for Blastoise. Let's go for Mega Drain. Oh, maybe Charizard would have been the better option. Oh, but um, Blastoise also has Blizzard, which is super effective against Golbat. So from that point of view. Good thing we have Mega... Oh, actually, I might need to save a few Mega Drain. Use Leech Life, get some HP back. Need a Reno, uh, Bite. Nice. Kangaskhan, Bite. Rhyhorn, Mega Drain. Nido Queen, Bite, Bite. Leech Life, Leech Life, Leech Life. Paralyze me, Body Slam. All right, with that done, Sabrina's gym is next, although we may be easier, we may have an easier battle going for Blaine. Although, remember, Sabrina's Alakazam does like to use Psywave, which is a random damage move. Oops. Alright, uh, Kedabra, let's go for Bite. If we get a good hit on that, that could be a one shot. Oh, Flinch, oh, on the second attack. 
Mr. Mime, Light Screen, that's fine. Vernamoth, uh, Wing Attack. Well, Psybeam, that's just not very nice. Let's go for Leech Life, uh, it's gone for Reflect. So this one's outspeeding me. Psywave, that's fine. Psywave, that's fine. Psywave is horrendous. Possibly worst move in the oh, rage. It's probably the worst, but on well, one of the worst anyway. But no, Psywave is a terrible move. I should never teach that to a Pokemon. It's the most unreliable move you can get. Now, if that Alakazam just went for a Psybeam or a Confusion, whatever one of those moves it had, it would have knocked Golbat out in one hit. It used three Psy Waves and it didn't knock me out. Actually, you know what? I might... I was going to grab that other rare candy, and I think I will because... You'll see why when I reach the Elite Four. Why some extra levels are uh, handy. I am curious. She gives you the TM... TM36. Is that missable? It isn't. Okay, so she's going to stand there in fear because my bag was full. If I go up and touch her again, she'll be like, eh, stop. Okay, no, self-destructs TM isn't missable. I was wondering because like, her dialogue after, she's like, oh, thanks for rescuing us and all. I was wondering if, like, if I didn't pick up the TM first, if that dialogue would overrule. But it didn't. Tangle it. Yes, so these, these strange beach sort of like end tiles... Uh, they're, they're actually um, registered as grass tiles in the game. Cinnabar Island is broken. That's why weird stuff happens here, and why Missing No appears here too. You know, it is rumoured that there was supposed to be a town in the middle of the map on this game as well. Like um, where Cycling Path is. If you look at where that area is, there's just a lot of water in the middle. It was rumoured that there was meant to be a town there. So it's sort of like a... Um, yeah, sort of... And it was meant to be accessible from the St. Anne. Which is why it never actually disappears. Which is an interesting concept because um, the map around sort of like the middle from like in between Celadon and Fuchsia, that is like really, really empty. So there very well could have been that idea that there was meant to be a city in the middle of the map accessible by St. Anne, which would have been really cool. But definitely not enough space on the game cartridge. Might have been like Porta Vista or something, if anyone remembers that episode from the anime where Ash, Misty and Brock. It's actually, some people might not remember it because uh, a few of the episodes were banned. It was very early in the Indigo League. It was like around like episode 17, 18, 19. Um, one had Tentacool and Tentacruel, which was banned because of, um, because of the historic attacks. And there was two towers, so you don't need to use much imagination why that one was pulled off air for a little bit. It was eventually put back on air. Um, but there was one, it was episode 18, it's called Beauty and the Beach. It is one of the most hilarious episodes of Pokemon you'll ever watch. But it did get banned. And it got banned because of James's big inflatable fake breasts and there is also multiple um, things where like this seedy old man staring at Misty so I can see why it got banned but oh man it was such a funny episode if that went for Fire Blast I was dead 
Yeah, very, very funny episode. I've You can watch it online. You can watch the original Japanese one. I have found a proper English dub one that had those deleted scenes added back in as well. Floating around in the um, spaces of the internet somewhere. But yeah, it was... Those sets of episodes were like right after when they went... When Team Rocket, Ash, Misty and Brock went down on the um, on the boat. And they ended up like at the bottom of the ocean. And they ended up on that raft and James kicks some magic up. And it's like, you worthless fish, I don't want to be your master. And then boots it and then it turns into a Gyarados. And Gyarados chases him. Then they end up on the island and they've got like all those massive Pokemon. But it's actually an amusement park, which ends up getting destroyed and it was owned by Giovanni and it's like somewhat Team Rocket's fault, Jesse and James. It was right after them episodes at the Porta Vista ones where they sort of like get stranded. Bite, bite. That Porta Vista episode, um, that's the episode, if anyone's ever seen that meme of where um, you've got Professor Oak and Ash's mum like in like their bathing suits on the beach. That's also the episode that that's from. And like the question is, you know, what's Professor Oak doing here with Ash's mum? Like just randomly. And they're all sort of like in that sort of get up. Yeah, that's the episode that that's from as well. Beauty and the Beach, that band one. There were four band episodes from Indigo League. I do have, I did rip Japanese ones off the internet and put them onto a disc so I have them to watch uh, Beauty and the Beast was one of them um, then there was actually I think there were three band ones and Holiday High Jinx I think was edited Jinx's um, black skin was edited to purple I think in later ones but um, the three definite band ones is Beauty and the Beach, Electric Soldier Porygon. That's the one that gave um, Japanese kids seizures. Damn, Alakazam. Yeah, I, I'm not going to win that. Um, yeah, so Beauty and the Beach, Electric Soldier Porygon. And there was also another band one, Legend of Dratini. That's the episode where Ash caught all of his Tauros. That was banned as well because um, the frequent use of firearms and guns being pointed towards heads is what got that one. Ah. Oh. Otherwise, there have been um, some episodes of Pokemon that were, like, produced but never aired or sort of half-produced. One was with Wishcash, where they caused an earthquake. And in real life, there were some earthquakes and tsunamis and stuff that happened, so they thought it would be in bad taste. All right, looks like we're outspeeding Alakazam. Ooh, a f do we get a flinch? No. Blastoise, Mega Drain, Mega Drain, Mega Drain. Nice. I need to watch the anime like badly, and it's just there's just not enough time to do everything. It felt like when I was a kid, I had so much more time to do all these things. I have the same amount of time as an adult, and I'm no much more of a kid now than what I was in an adult life. Like, if you know what I mean, like, I, I am a man that never really grew out of his childhood. As you can see by me never leaving this game. I've ha I have repels in my bag somewhere. But, like, I've been asked that question before, like, oh, don't you ever grow out of these things? No, I don't. I hold on to them as tightly as possible. Because the reason why we never grow out of these things is because they bring us happiness of a time that we wish that we could have back but we can't have it back
And people are like, oh, don't you want to grow up? Yeah, well, I drive a car, so I'm grown up enough. I can operate an automobile. I have another rappel in my bag, don't I? Yeet. Yeah, full restore. I've probably got like barely any money left as well. Because of how many times I've been knocked out. Oh, I've got a little bit. Well, here we are once again, Golbat. And you were running on about this, roughly the same time as you did on the last run as well. Oh, I didn't get Mimic. Yep, and here's where the difficulty starts. Lorelei. Um... I will need Mimic, because otherwise I will never get through Agatha. Um, the problem with Agatha is um, Leech Life just isn't strong enough. It's super effective, but it does like nothing. So I have to come here and get Mimic. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm poor. So, yes, I don't use Mimic that often. I haven't used it that often during the whole run, but every now and then you just kind of have to use that one little cheap strategy. Otherwise, um, Erica, uh, Erica, Agatha is just horrendous to try to beat. Does everyone know about this? Nugget. Yeah, so you can walk into a stranger's house, steal a valuable chunk of gold then go and sell it for your own profit and buy two more full restores all right mega drain look at that does nothing absolutely nothing to do gong it's a bit better against cloister um bite Use bite on Jinx. I may have had Growl used on me as well. It looks like I have. Oh, we get through to Lapras. Which will probably go for Blizzard. And we'll probably hit it 27 times in a row before I finally get one that misses. Why is Ducks still in the party? Imagine if I went through and I won it with Ducks. Ducks made it to the Elite Four for the first time. Besides the far fetch run that I did already as well. Um, I'm going to go for bite. I need to either hope for a flinch or hope that Dugong stays awake for more than two. Are you kidding me? Whenever I'm asleep, I'm asleep for like nine turns. And you can only be asleep for a maximum of six. Five or six. Whenever I'm asleep, I'm asleep for like nine Oh, no, bad. Oh, Golbat. Why are you so bad? Why aren't you any good? Why can't you learn better moves, Golbat? Oh, again, two turns. Asleep for two turns. Bro, this some trash. This some trash, bro. Get all my health back. When you have Aurora Beam used on you, there's a chance that it will also lower your attack, and it looks like that's what's happened. Well, at least we're somewhat consistently getting to Lapras, at least. Look at that, two turns again. Absolutely rigged, I saw my attack drop there as well. But basically I've got nothing. You know what? Do I, well then again, I think 
knocking out Lorelei's Pokemon is going to level me up faster than going and doing all those bikers on the cycling path anyway, so... There we go, we're at Lapras again. This is probably the most health we've had against Lapras. But look at that, we're doing nothing to it. No, oh, we survive a blizzard. There we go, a blizzard misses. Can we get a flinch? No. Oh, Golbat. And I refuse... I refuse to use Mimic on... Boo! I refuse to use Mimic on Slowbro and use Amnesia to get Badge Boost. I refuse outright to use that strategy. Come on, Golbat. Like I said, when I, when I did the last run, Golbat had to be like level 70 to like somewhat be consistent with Lorelei. Oh, Lapras missed. Yeah, I even um even before I did my other Golbat run that went missing, I knew that Golbat was going to be difficult to do. That he was going to have a hard time. And I wasn't wrong. The Golbat, he hasn't had an attack drop, so he, he gets through Jinx. Uh, does it miss? No. So, yeah, I knew that Golbat was going to struggle. And I'm almost certain that Golbat is... Oops. That Golbat is the last fully evolved Pokemon that I have to do for solo runs. I'm almost certain. And I do get the question every now and then, like why why do you do it with fully evolved Pokemon? Why not start with like its its original starter? But then it it is fun doing it with fully evolved Pokemon right from the start as well. But but I, I do see the point. Why um oh there's a miss with Blizzard flinch. Bah. Um, I do see the point though. You know, start with a Pidgey, evolve it through to Pidgeot and do the run that way. Three runs in one, but then like... Yeah, it's also fun trying to do it with just a Pidgey. Well, that's not really that much fun, but... It's just the intrigue of it all. Like, like when I did Rattata, like, I was like, how can Rattata win this game? But Rattata was actually really good. Um, in fact, most of the normal Pokemon are really good at solo runs because nothing's super effective against them except fighting, and there's not really many fighting Pokemon in the game. I'm going to use Leech Life against Slowbro. Oh, actually, I probably shouldn't because that can use Growl against me. Alright, but Golbat is getting... He is getting closer to be, being able to defeat Lorelei. Probably won't have a problem with Bruno. Agatha's always difficult. How much does... Uh, I think I've had my attack dropped. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, I didn't mean to go for Mega Drain. Oh, you... Oh... I meant to go for Leech Life and see if I could get some more health back for Lapras. Alright, Bite. Leech Life. Yeah, even just that little bit of extra health might come in handy. Oh, it misses. Mega Drain. We're almost at full health. We are at full health. 
bite. Oh. Maybe I should have gone for Mega Drain. Maybe. I don't think it would have mattered, but maybe. Who do I do after Golbat? Um, Onyx? Oh, just the thought of doing Onyx on this game, like, just sends chills down my spine. He might be okay against Lorelei, because he can learn Rock Slide. Mmm! Ah, oh, I just had a drink. And come on, Golbat, knock it out, please. <laughs> oh. Oh, poor Bruno. He's coming up against a level 70 Golbat that knows Mega Drain and Wing Attack. He's got... Ooh, if that used Counter, that could have actually knocked me out. But poor Bruno, he's just going to get thumped. Now, I remember when I did this run before. Now, I do have Mimic. But I think Wing Attack actually did just as well. Yeah. Bite on Golbat. Nice. Yeah, I remember because I would use Mimic and I would sort of lose a turn and be vulnerable to a hit. Wing Attack at this level actually does enough damage. Yeah, yeah full restore. Okay, Lance. Lance is broken. Um, Lance can't... Only his Aerodactyl and his Gyarados can actually do anything to me. Because of Gem 1's programming, all the dragons will go for... Um, they're only going to go for agility. So I can sap my health back with Leech Life. Aerodactyl. Let's go for Mega Drain. Oh, I went for takedown. Soup. Oh, no. Now I'm nervous. Oh, that's cheap. Oh, I'm running out of PP. No. Oh. Hey, look, to be fair, Golbat should have won that. Lance healed. He's cheap. I, I've seen it. Attack drop. Jeez, just one attack drop and I can't even get through Jinx. Ah, uh, attack drop again. Ah, oh, Golbat, you was such a grind to try to get through this. Ah, oh, look at that. Leech life is like doing nothing. Jinx. Hey, critical hit. I've got no choice but to go for Mega... Oh, it missed with Blizzard. I have no choice but to use Mega Drain, otherwise I won't be able to... I won't be able to get through. I only have one Mega Drain left. Sweet. I do still have all four of my elixir. Hey, yay. All right. Agatha is actually fairly easy for a change. I almost hit bite then. Hey, full health. Mm, I really should have Mega Drain for Aerodactyl. Now, when I did an Aerodactyl run, hes I was surprised by how bad he was. Aerodactyl was not a good run. Uh, 
Alright, Dragonite can't damage me either. It just has barrier and um, agility. Although I'm still confused, but I'm okay now. Huh, I might actually... I might have to use Struggle to defeat it. Because Lance, being the cheap... cheap old Lance that he is, will use a bloody full restore or a hyper potion, whichever one it is that he uses. I'm not going to have enough health to... Oh, you are joking. I, I was actually just about to say I'm going to sneak in a full restore because Lance has used two of them and then I got a critical hit and knocked myself out with recoil. Unbelievable. I Maybe I should just use a, a full... Uh, what's it called? Maybe the elixir. I should ju I should have just used the elixir. Oh, this app, this run's been going for over an hour and ten already. I, I just want this one to be over. I've done it twice. <laughs> oh. All right, Lapras, Mega Drain, Bite, Bite. Oh, only just. That's okay though. We can get all that back against Onyx. Mm. I was like, oh, that, that Hitmonchan's going to knock me out. I really should stop taking risks. I have so many full restores. Alright, Agatha, she's... Weird with battling, man. She likes to recall her Pokemon all the time for no reason at all. Oh, Arbok. That, that's not very nice, Arbok. Serves you right, you old hag. Oh, Agatha is a hag. There we go. We'll put our PP back this time. Bite, bite, bite. We store all of our HP. Let's go for wing attack. Uh, Mega Drain, that does a lot more to Aerodactyl. Alright, Dragonite this time. Should be nice and easy. Oh, oh, I hope I don't lose to the rival. I really, really hope I don't lose to the rival. But I, I still can. Alright, Pidgeot. Bite. It's going for Sky Attack and it's going to hit it too. I could get a flinch. Eh, it didn't do that much. We outspeed Alakazam. Oh, oh, that was a critical hit. Did that matter? Probably. If that hit me with Psychic, I was cooked. I would not have survived. Alright. Oh, don't use Takedown. Now, I got knocked out by, Execu by Executor in my last run. It used Hypnosis and it kept using Barrage and Stomp and it ended up knocking me out. If you freeze me, I swear to God, I am going to use a full restore. I don't get frozen. Golbat does it. I, geez, I think I might have even been slower this run. Oh, Golbat, look, he's... He's not a bad Pokemon, he's just got no learn set. He's got no moves to do a Gen 1 solo run. Like, Stat-wise, he's pretty good. Like, he's, you know, he's not terrible. But, uh, he's just got, his most powerful move is, like, Bite, which is, like, is it 50 or 60? In fact, it might even be 40. Ugh. This run wears me out. And I've had to do it more than once. Well, I hope you enjoyed Golbat's run. I know he was a Pokemon of interest, but he is not built for Gen 1 solo runs. Hopefully this time my video doesn't go walkabout. I see my timer still going. I know the video is being recorded just like it was last time. I shouldn't have had to do this again. But, well, I hope you enjoyed Golbat's run. I'll be back tomorrow as well. Um, I release these at 6 p.m. Western Australian time, so... Hope to see you then, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, keep well, farewell.